evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Globe Theatre. Uh, oh, I meant to the 50 men who can cook auditorium, and to the complete works of William Shakespeare. Oh, breeze! I have a few brief announcements before we get underway. The use of flash photography is strictly prohibited by the management. Also, please refrain from eating, <sighs> drinking, <laughs> or smoking anything during the performance. <laughs> also, if you could take this moment now to locate the exits nearest your seat. If the theater were to experience a sudden loss of pressure, oxygen masks will drop automatically. Simply place them over your nose and mouth, continue to breathe normally. <laughs> also, <clears throat> if you find yourself in the theater with a small child, <clears throat> please, Put your own mask on first. I'm a little bugger for himself. <clears throat> Allow me to introduce myself. I am Tafatwa. And I'm Jeff. <laughs> and me and my partner are going to attempt a feat that we believe to be unprecedented in the history of theater. That is, to capture in one theatrical performance the magic. The genius, the towering grandeur of the complete works of William Shakespeare. Oh, bridged! William Shakespeare is widely known to be the greatest author in the history of the English language. But naturally, as a teenager, I hate him. Personally, I prefer J.K. Rowling. God love <laughs> Harry Potter. So we present to you something that would probably make William Shakespeare roll in his grave. Right, three of his plays modernized and abridged in. The, the complete works of William Shakespeare abridged by Long, Singer, and Winfield. In preparing this unprecedented complete work show, we even encountered this little problem. How to make these musty 400-year-old plays accessible to a modern audience. One popular trend is to take Shakespeare's plays and transpose them to a modern setting. So without further ado, I present to you Titus Andronicus as a cooking show. <clears throat> Good evening, everyone. I'm your host, Titus Andronicus. Now, <clears throat> when you've had a long day, your right hand chopped off. Ow. Yes, son. He's murdered. Your daughter, she's right. <laughs> her tongue cut out. Slip. Ah. And both of our hands are chopped off as well. Ow, ow! <laughs> the last thing you want to do is cook. Unless you cook the right fist. <laughs> and you serve him to his mom at a dinner party. Me and my daughter Lavinia will tell you just now. Good evening, Lavinia. Good evening, And how are you feeling today? Oh, good. <laughs> I got my own cup. Oh, now that, that's a piss out. Uh -huh. mm, all right. But we're going to get our revenge, won't we? We will. All right. <clears throat> Be sure to use a big bowl for this one. Human body's got about four quarts of blood in it. And the rapist is dead. Should be right up now. <laughs> now. We'll just grind his bone. Uh, 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 uh. Let his violin be baked. Uh, at 350 degrees. <clears throat> 40 minutes later, Ding. you got this lovely human head and pie. It smells like head and shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're just about out of time, everyone. So <clears throat> make sure you tune in next time. We make some ratatouille of our special guests. Until then, bye the hit. I hope nobody was too offended by Titus Andronicus. No doubt <clears throat> William Shakespeare as an early writer went through a blood and guts period. No doubt if he was working in Hollywood today, he'd be working on Titus Andronicus 8. Just desserts. Uh, mm -hmm. Puns, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> now it's time for us to move on to his dark and brooding tragedy <coughs> Othello, The More Venice. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I obviously have some problem in performing Othello, because as some of you might know, part of Othello was written for a black actor. And as you can tell, I'm not a... Uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is, due to physical limitations, 
I'll be unable to perform Othello more. No, 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 no. Just because you're white doesn't mean you can't perform Othello. No, I got no, I got an idea. I got an idea. All right, just kind of join in. I. Salami. Oh, salami. Salami. <laughs> so he comes back home and he smothers the witch. He thought he pulled it off without a hitch. But a million's at the door. Oh, we met it at the She said, Yeah, big dummy. She want no heart. She want pure. She want clean. She want virginal too. So why'd you have to go and make a face turn blue? It's true. It's you. Now what you gonna do? And I tell us, Dang, this is pretty scary. So he pulls out his blade and commits Harry Carey. Iago got copped. <clears throat> but he probably copped it, please. Loaded up his bags, and he moved to Beverly. Hills, that is. Africa! Shimon! <laughs> now that's that. <clears throat> now that, that's it, right? Oh, no. Hamlet! How oh, we forget Hamlet? William Shakespeare didn't write Hamlet, did he? Of course he did. Oh, I thought it was a Mel Gibson movie. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're running a little short on time. So we're gonna run through Hamlet for you guys. Really, really fast. Don't try this at home. Yeah, go over to a friend's house. <laughs> Shing! Revenge my murder! Get thee to a nunnery! <laughs> to be or not to be, that is the question! Hi, there's the rub. <laughs> Good, my lord! Oh, the foils be with thee!
thank you, thank you, thank you. That was the complete works of William Shakespeare. A bridge. A bridge. And if you could excuse me, I'm going to Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs>